Okay, we're in the doctor's office for pre-op for my thumb. And I just come back this afternoon to get blood work and EKG and stuff, but this morning is just going over the basics. Dad, how are you feeling? Um, I am, I'm fine. I'm happy. We just got out of my second pre -op. And they drew blood. Oh my gosh, I'm like literally stripping. But not too much. You didn't get much blood. It was over in like a second. Yep. She got it and she grabbed it and it was done. Yeah. And she gave me this like huge bandage for like such little blood. Like I feel like that's what this was. Like 10 minutes, she said. It's not time yet. Mom. Paige. All right, so as you can see by the title of the video, I am going to have surgery. Currently, it's a week before. It's Monday the 15th, and I'm having surgery on the 22nd. I think that's the right math. I don't know. It's a week from today. So basically, there is a lump in my thumb. You can't see it. Um... Unless you can, I don't know, I can't see it. But it's right here, it's a really big lump right there. And I found it when I was in rehab. I found it in December. And I basically went to like a bunch of different doctors and dermatologists, no one really knew what it was. Um, but it was, ex well it is extremely painful. So I'm getting it removed. Um, they aren't sure what it is. They think they know what it is. Um, but they're going to send it to pathology, I think that's the right word, to get it tested. So, um, no, that's the whole thing. Um, they think it's a type of cyst. I can, like, put the name of it because there's no way I can s say it. Uh, but they think it is, and that's what I'm planning on getting out. So, I'm hoping that all goes well. Okay, it's the morning of... I um have to shower. I am not about to get my hair wet because it takes my hair a really long time to dry. So if I get my hair wet, I guarantee it will not like even be dry by the time I come out of surgery, and I just don't want that. So I'm gonna put a shower cap on um that I used for sweat. I had to dig it out of my swim back, and I don't think that it's gonna keep my hair like perfectly dry, but I'm hoping that it will like. At least keep it a little bit dry and i am completely exhausted i went to bed at like 2 30 and i woke up at 8 30. Oh. that's how i usually put on shower cups and i just stuff all the little hairs I couldn't get. Well, this might even be the cover. It's so funny. The thumbnail. Can I say the cover? Yeah. Um, shower cap. Almost worked. Um, I just got like a little bit of hair wet, but basically, 10 out of 10. Um, uh, much better than my hair being soaking wet right now. And this is a fit I'm wearing. Leggings and a sweatshirt. So fun. Uh, and I was debating whether I wanted to wear socks or not. I feel like I probably will because I feel like I can always take them off if I get too hot. But, like, if I get too cold, I want them. So, I'm probably just going to wear, like, my really, really beat up sneakers. Wait. Fetch them. Um, with, like, socks because I'm afraid I'm going to get cold. Um, also... It's not like my wisdom teeth are actually going to keep this on. They're 100% going to be like, oh, get in a gown, like, two seconds after me being there. And then I'm going to sit in a flimsy little gown for, like, two hours. But the other thing I have to do is take off all my bracelets, which I'm so sad about, but obviously I understand. Um, but, yeah, the whole shower thing is hilarious to me because I'm having surgery on my thumb. I don't know about you guys. Maybe, maybe I'm disgusting for this, but... I don't usually wash my hands with soap in the shower. So both times, last night and today, I've almost forgotten to literally wash my thumb. Like the one place I'm having surgery. Because it's like, okay, use this special soap for 
like I have to use this one washcloth washcloth for above the waist and another washcloth for below the waist. So I get my above the waist and I'm like doing washing my arms, washing my stomach, whatever. And then I'm like, oh, I like actually have to clean the one thing that's important. Ugh. And I also have this low key kind of scared feeling that I'm just gonna get down there and I'm like, we can't do surgery because um, they have to have a lab on file at this hospital before they can do surgery but my like surgery doesn't really require any labs so they're like oh we'll just do this one like lab just like see how many red blood cells you have and it came back like extremely low like I got the results yesterday in my like portal and it was like yeah they're like really really low and I was like great so I have no clue what that means but hopefully they like still do the surgery <laughs> Woo. I'm hoping at the end of summer you'll be like a tan here. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, so here we are. Paige back in a bunny suit. You can it's see how bad my hair looks. <laughs> it's been a while. This side? So good. This side? So rough. Mm -hmm. Been a while since you've been in a bunny suit. So all she all this shenanigans from head to toe for what? That right there. I know. That's how I felt when I was like washing my body like eight times. I'm like, I So, we're all, yeah, looking forward to all the crazy things Paige will say when she's recovering from anesthesia. Yeah, you have to take a video. Yeah, yeah, we will. That was the most painful IV I've ever gotten in my life. They tried right there for a long time. I was not doing well. I was like, it hurts, and it hurts so bad. And then, but I finally got it in my hand. I was surprised I didn't even try, like, my elbow, because they didn't try, they didn't even, like, look at it at my wisdom tooth, either. And I was like, do they not put it in your elbow anymore? Right. Yeah. I oh. think yours just is so poorly showing down there, <laughs> they just didn't want to even try. Yeah. Also, my hair looks good on this side. This side, on the other hand, completely fell out. And my mom should be here soon. Yay! Dad's working on craft lace. Yep. Though I was the assistant for pain management. Event. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's 12 o'clock. My surgery should be happening any second, but it's not because we haven't even been moved yet to holding. holding. And that's where you go before. <laughs> Before the OR, so it's hopeless. We're gonna be out of here at like 6 p.m. I guarantee it. It's 12 o'clock. Okay, update number two. My 12 o'clock surgery got moved back to 2 o'clock. I'm very thirsty, and my mom put chapstick on for me. <laughs> <laughs> and my IV arm is really hurting, and where they tried the IV the first time was already starting to like bruise and turn black and swell. And that's Is like, it really? Yeah. Swelling? Did you see that? Oh. Yeah, I may have to bring that to somebody's attention. I'm gonna hemorrhage and die. So no, not. Oh. It's not today. Oh. It's not the plan. Wait, what? wait, get you in that video. Oh. You can turn around so you can see yourself, see? Oh, I can see myself. Oh. Hey, sexy lady. Hi. Oh. Surgery day. Surgery day with mom. Dad left to, to go eat lunch. And mom I went out. I went out in the hallway to eat and, and listen to people scream at each other. Get a butt chewing. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're in the holding. I look so hot. Yeah, we're holding. Dad's gonna be here whenever he's done with lunch. They put things on my legs for blood clot. She gets a free leg massage. I get a free leg massage. Hopefully it makes my calf muscles bigger. I don't know that that's gonna happen today. <laughs> Maybe after your workout tomorrow. I'm not working out tomorrow. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way, Jose. Wait a Okay, update number four. I'm out of surgery and I changed and I got this really big thing. It's not a cast, even though it looks like it. It's um, this squishy. <laughs> I don't know what, we need to figure out what this stuff is called. But it's like this stuff that sometimes they wrap around, like if you get an IV, 
something like that. This is stuff, but there's like this stuff under it, and then there's gauze, and there's metal. The whole shebang. And I have my IV in still. I don't know when they're going to take that out. Soon. And I feel very, 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 very dizzy. Very dizzy. Um, and I'm starving. I want to get Chipotle for dinner. And... That's it. That's, <laughs> that's like basically the whole update. And we have a nice room with windows. It's great. <laughs> Put that on your forehead. I'll help you not be dizzy. Ice on your forehead makes you not dizzy? There you go. I'm here with Caitlin. There's probably food all over my face. Mm -mm. Okay, now Caitlin, turn around so they see you. Can I flip the thing out? Sure, if you want to. <laughs> now it is. Hey guys, I'm the filmer now because. Wait, do I have chocolate on my face? I think I might. Sorry, that's, that's gross. I got chocolate, caramel, and vanilla. It's a corn flavor, and Caitlin got mint moose tracks. Pages is better though, I wish I got the same thing. Um, but yeah, wait, maybe I can get it to stand up and I can film you. Wait. Oh, <gasps> yes. Oh, well, there's. Hey, here's Caitlin. Oh, we love her. There's Kira. Working. She was so sweet to us. Bye. Toodles. Toodle you. Okay, we're out here playing our card game. <laughs> wow. Cart. Everyone's crying. Cart. Crying. Cart. Oh, okay, so it is 11.37. It's been a while from surgery, and I'm just going to do a quick little walkthrough of what happened. So honorable mentions, it took forever to get my IV in. So my IV, they tried to do it. Ugh, I can't like turn my wrist that way. They tried to do it here. They could not find a vein for the life of them. Um, and they were digging around under my skin, and I was like, screaming it's really dramatic and scary um but then the head nurse got one in my hand they're already starting to bruise but you can't really see in this light or yeah you can again i finally went in um they put i've never had this done before they put like things on my legs to keep blood from clotting so bad news about my surgery um i was way worse than they thought so they thought what they thought as they thought it was a cyst. Uh, it was like basically a cyst uh, wrapped around my nerve. Well, it turns out it was a tumor growing on my nerve. So how my surgeon described it, if you like are squeamish, you could like skip, but basically how he described it is your nerve is about the like width of a spaghetti noodle. And he only had to cut, like the tumor wasn't growing off of it, not like through it basically, so that was really good. So we only had to cut away one third of my nerve. Um, so two thirds of my nerve is still there. And he said he was really proud of himself for like getting it that close. He thought he was gonna have to do like half or more. So that was awesome. Um, but I was under surgery for like uh, a lot longer than they thought. Um, so I wake up and I find this on my fucking hand and I was like, what because i don't know if you can see very well it is a thick boy thick so like my sweat so many of my clothes can't fit over it because it is thick so basically it's really really important my thumb doesn't move at all like at all because that's how they're going to try to get the nerve to grow back and because it's not like a loose feeling in my thumb so currently they had to do so it was like really complicated my heart rate was like jumping all over the place so they had to do a ton of local anesthetic um, and so currently I can't feel this finger at all. I obviously can't feel my thumb at all. And I can't feel this side of my finger. I can't feel this side, but I can't feel this side. So like basically like this finger that I eat in my thumb. Can't feel it all. Um, I'm taking pain meds though tonight because I want to stay in front of the pain. I don't want to like wake up and be like, what's going on? Basically, I have to have the sling for two reasons. One, um, since the, like, so my thumb, so there's tons of metal in this. This also is in the cast. I know it looks like it, but it's not. It's compression tape. So the way it goes is there's gauze, then there's a ton of metal. You can see, like, a little piece right there. There's a ton of metal, like, holding it. And then there's this stuff, like, just, like, wrap. And then there's the compression tape. So I can get it wet, obviously. But basically, I need the, um, sling because it can't like go really below my heart like if i drop my like hand like this 
oh my gosh blood like i can do it for like a second or even like a minute like i'm fine but blood like obviously rushes to my hands and it hurts so bad because it's just so tight like it can't it literally can't like my my hands can't swallow it all so i have to use a sling and the other thing about the sling is they gave me two ice packs that are like made for the sling you can kind of see that one in there and so i can like be icing it basically at all times um which is great but they also said the recovery was going to be a lot longer than expected which i'm really 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 sad about because i'm bringing a summer camp this summer so i really want to like get in the pool and like hang out with people so for two weeks this is on i get it off i have it on for yeah like two weeks and like a couple days so really excited about that i really honestly wouldn't care as much about but it i wouldn't care as much about it but one i really want to be able to participate at summer camp and two i don't really like wearing the sling because that's just like it really like digs into my neck so i think i might just get used to like holding it this way with an ice pack because the sling can be a bit painful so tonight like to bed i'm not wearing the sling i'm just gonna like put the ice pack like on my arm and like maybe wrap a little blanket around it or something um but yeah that's my story and i lit both my candles they're so fun i love them i wish i could like somehow fall asleep with them that would just be so fun but they're so cute something so funny just happened i had to go wake my parents up to open my pill bottle i don't want i don't have to blur it but i couldn't get it open with one hand that's so sad